as 1,500 applicants continue to wait to find out whether they were approved for a lot at the Prospect Ridge housing development previously announced by the Minutes administration, new housing minister Joe Beth Colby Davis revealed on Wednesday that not only were critical studies not carried out, a master plan for the project was never produced. I've spoken to the company that was previously engaged by the former administration and absolutely nothing has been done yet. In fact, they got a letter a, a advising them that they were awarded this um, project uh, probably about two or three days before the election. So nothing has been done in terms of creating a master plan to do the work at Prospect Ridge. Former Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Binder said 40% of the lots would be multifamily, available for purchase at $50,000, and 60% of the lots would be single family, sold for 40000 she said the Ministry of Housing has a lot of groundwork to do before it can determine if it can go ahead with the project, as previously announced. I don't know if that was really a realistic um, picture of what the cost would look like. And so I would say at the moment, we cannot commit to what was previously announced. When asked if she believed the project was used as a campaign tool by the Minutes administration, Colby Davis said this. The fact that you have a billboard that has a photo, but you have no master plan. One wants to know where that photo came from. So did they grab it off of Google? <laughs> I don't know. But we have no master plan, which will actually provide you with the completed look of the subdivision. And the fact that that doesn't exist means I don't understand where the numbers came from for the land cost and where the pictures came from. When former Prime Minister Minnis addressed the development back in April, he unveiled a concept sketch plan at the House of Assembly. Asked about that image, Colby Davis said it was just that, a sketch. While she acknowledged that the applicants may be disappointed by the news, she encouraged them to remain optimistic. I wouldn't say anyone is out of luck in terms of being a part of that project. What my priority is to make sure that I help as many Bahamians as I can to become homeowners. Um, but I want to make sure I do it in the right way. So I want to provide the Bayman public with a number of options. If you're unable to go into the Prospect Ridge because of the cost and you may not be approved for that, I still want to offer you an option that is probably Carmichael or another subdivision. So I want to be able to to give options so persons don't feel like all hope is lost. She said she hopes to have answers in six to eight weeks. In April, Parliament approved a resolution to allow for the development of a residential community in Western New Providence geared toward young professionals and the transfer of said land from the treasurer to the government for the sum of $10. The community was to be comprised of 83 acres of land located north of JFK Drive between Prospect Ridge and the Ministry of Public Works and to feature a clubhouse, pool, parks, and a preschool. For the Guardian News Network, I'm Kyle Joaquin.